Have you guys seen these things yet? They're incredible. Let's open them up. So I just got these in last night. They came pretty late. Um, and they came from a company online called Huckberry. Huckberry's like this, um, this, this melting pot of a bunch of different, just really nice brands that, that they sell, obviously. So I've been looking for a pair of loafers, something that is just extremely versatile and I have found it. I'm so excited to show you this. So, these are by Asterflex. These shoes are handmade in Italy, and they've been handmade by the same family since the 19th century. You can go on Asterflex and you can read on their website all their bio and just how incredible of a company they are. I mean, it's it's super cool. So, without further ado, let's open it up. The box is cardboard, recyclable. Uh, the company is apparently pretty big on being eco-friendly. When you open it up, we have a sticker. A lot of people get excited about stickers doesn't mean you're a child. We have a postcard. I don't, I don't exactly know who I'm going to send a postcard. Oh, it's for returns. Look at that. Oh, you get a postcard too. I'm going to send somebody a postcard. Okay, so let's get into the actual shoe part of this. So, um, I don't speak Italian. I'm, I'm not even going to try to speak Italian, so I have no idea what that says. I can guess, but this is just a little booklet on their process, their history, and uh, their materials. All of their materials are real leather um, and rubber uh, insole or rubber soles, and they're eco-friendly. So, inside we have this really nice kind of linen bag. Get rid of the box, I don't need that anymore. And here are the shoes. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Oh, look at that. Oh, just so, so incredible. That feel, like that, made in Italy, something Italian. I don't really know what that says. Again, not gonna try. Oh, this is gonna patina so, so well. And look at this, it's raw leather inside of there. It's so soft. No, like, fake junk inside of here that's just going to fall apart. All one piece. All one piece. All one piece. Ugh. Let's, let's get into the details of these. Even being handmade in Italy, 
even being kind of expensive, how do they even look? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't. Uh, <laughs> these are so comfortable. Wow. So for sizing reference, um, I usually wear an 11 and a half. I have a pretty wide foot. I have a hard time finding shoes a lot of times, especially like more dressy shoes, loafers, slip ones, things like that because of how wide my feet are. These fit beautifully. So the recommendation is if you're in between sizes, size down. So I wear an 11 and a half. I bought it on 11. These are a little tight, but over time as the wet, the weather layers in, geez, the leather wears in, these will fit like a well tailored glove. I, I can't get over these. They're super comfortable. I can tell they're going to take just a little bit to break in. The heel does have the rubberized kind of honeycomb look. This part is slick though. So if you're not used to real dress shoes that aren't rubberized bottoms, um, it might take a little bit of getting used to. And if you, I don't know, maybe walk somewhere that's pretty slick, you might slip. So just know that with these, it might take a minute to, uh, to get used to it. But God, look at these. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have the shoes. I have an incredibly nice pair of dark jeans. I can't wear this shirt. My wife and I have uh, reservations tomorrow evening at this incredible Italian restaurant. It's rated Denver's most authentic Italian restaurant, and I'm super excited. It's outdoor dining. It's going to be great, but I can't wear a shirt. I have to run to the Apple store at our mall to make sure that my AirPods are working properly. If not, we're going to replace them. Let's go look for a t-shirt. Let's get ready for dinner. <laughs> Thank you.